modern, high-mechanized Nazi Germany had invaded most of Europe. France, Norway, and Belgium had fallen, and the Battle of Britain was about to begin. U.S. entry into the greatest war in history was just a matter of time. The American army was still dependent on horses and motorcycles with sidecars. We needed to prepare for war immediately. We also needed an edge. In just 49 days, they accomplished the impossible. The weight will make it top heavy. What if... Those are my guys. I've been the man behind the American Bantam Car Company since 1932. I have personally invested a small fortune in the building of a most stylish and dependable small car in America. Some people said I never even worked for the Army, that I was a spy for Ford and Willys. One thing for sure, somebody's going to make some money off this thing after the war. We did it on our own time and our own dime. It wasn't exactly what the Army wanted, but it got everybody thinking in the right direction. If you're determined to give credit where credit's due now, retired Admiral Harry Payne, he's the real father of the weapons car. The man flat out refused to take no for an answer. Went over the heads of the QMC and directly to the Secretary of War. Remember the golden rule, never trust the military. I really didn't want to take that job. To build that vehicle to those specifications in that short amount of time, impossible. Everybody knew that. Still, I was able to put the punch together in two days. I've tested every vehicle ever brought to the Hollybird Proving Grounds, and I'm proud to say I've broken each and every one of them. That's my job. I've been here since the first day they opened the door. I've seen and heard it all. The good times? Few. The lean years? Many. <laughs> many. Fenn and Chris claim we're onto something. Hope they're right. Heard that story before. They called it every name imaginable. Goat, bug, peep, general purpose, even combat car. I don't care what they call it. We might have made this for the Army, but I tell you, everyone is going to want one of these. I want one. I'm not as stupid as I look. I know building something for the Army is our only chance at survival. 49 days to build something from scratch. Something unlike anything anybody's ever built before. It's simple. Create the impossible or shut down the factory. I gotta get to work. A lot of families are depending on us. I should have stuck with the racing car. There has nor will there ever be anything quite like it. It is America's greatest contribution to modern warfare. <laughs>